Hi, I'm a CRNA here in the Houston area, certified registered nurse anesthetist on the front lines fighting COVID. So basically, let's help you guys understand vaccinated versus unvaccinated. Today, I, take, I took care of a patient. She has been vaccinated, contracted COVID um, in July, on July the 23rd, has been positive since then. Her friend is also vaccinated, also contracted COVID. Okay, so she actually had no symptoms. Her friend actually had every sign and symptom of COVID and is currently fighting for her life right now. She is able to be moved off the COVID unit because now her um, infection, she's been asymptomatic. And so they're gonna move her to the step down COVID um, unit. Um, I have another colleague who has, who got the vaccination, who has been having this rash. First, they thought it was shingles. Now it's not shingles. Um, once it heals in one part of her body, then it moves to another part. And this is something that happened after she got the vaccination. So I'm just here to tell you guys, you know, the media is painted out like, okay, this is a pandemic of the unvaccinated people that unvaccinated people are just running around here giving people cold. That ain't true. You, you got the vaccination. You can still give other people, you can still give other people COVID. A colleague, she, she, um, one of my anesthesia colleagues, all her family is vaccinated. They went to a camp. Half of the people wasn't vaccinated. But everybody in the camp got COVID. So the vaccinated, unvaccinated still got COVID. So we're all out here fighting a fight together. So, you know, this stuff about being insensitive, unvaccinated people are insensitive. That is so not true. And patients saying that, oh, I don't want this person to take care of me because they're not vaccinated. You guys come in the hospital with all types of diseases. We don't pick and choose which disease we gonna treat. We just take care of you. And so you can get back home to your family. So no one is out here being insensitive. We're all out here fighting this fight together. And as long as you we continue to be divided, then guess what? COVID is still going to be around here or whatever, because it is a lot of us who can still continue to wear the mask. We can still continue to be social distances. We're not out here trying to party, nothing like that. So I'm just saying, just be a little more sensitive to other people's choices. We don't force you to do something you don't want to do. You shouldn't force us to do something we don't want to do, especially when it's not an actual cure.